Cougars with the Crestview Knights. Andy Lynch joined by the head coach, Jared Owens. And down on the end, Brad and Brecht, one of the senior linebackers and offensive linemen. And our first ever warm up here at Frickers was with Coach Owens and his Crestview team. You're a veteran coach in the area now. How's that feel to have several years under your belt now? Well, the time's going fast. There's no question about it. But uh, it's been an enjoyable experience. Young team last year, you have nine starters back on each side of the ball. Uh, how much did they grow up last year, would you say? Well, I feel like that our maturity and, and our experience is something that you can only gain by playing games. So we got, we got the opportunity to do that. Um, and, we've, and we've noticed that improvement during camp with our effort and our attitude and, and how business-like we've been. Two a days, you go in the morning and the afternoon. Today was the first day not having two a days. What's that transition like when you say, all right, guys, we're done with the two a days, but now we got to get into a routine for the season? It was honestly just a little bit sluggish today. I, I was feeling as a coach, and I know the guys were feeling it too, just a little bit. Um, so it would be nice to get into school and get into a routine. Uh, um, but it was nice to try to heal up a little bit from two a days and, and get our legs back a little bit today as well. Brad and Breck, one of 14 seniors on this team. Tell us about that class of seniors. What do, what do you guys like? Is there a word that kind of characterizes what you guys are all about? Um, we're really hardworking and a lot of effort and enthusiasm out of these guys, and we can appreciate that. What have you enjoyed about two days, if anything, leading up to today as you smile? Has there been anything to enjoy? <laughs> I'm taking it all in because it's my last two days, so just kind of enjoying it and trying to have fun. You know, that's a great perspective. I saw several high or college freshmen this year say, hey, high school players, I wish I could be playing right now. I wish I could be doing the two a days. So that's awesome you have that perspective. Uh, Coach, as we look at this team, what's the strength right now? Still have a scrimmage coming up against Van Ward, already scrimmaged Salina. What, what would you say is the strength of the Crestview Knights? I felt like that our, our tackling was really good last Friday against Salina. Our defensive front played quick and played hard. Um, in the secondary, we have some athleticism. So defensively, I felt pretty good. Um, offensively, we still need to, to work on some things that we're doing a little bit differently in the, in the shotgun this year, um, throwing the ball a little bit more. So, um, you know, just some little things that we need to focus on, uh, getting some guys back healthy again, and, and uh, you know, that's where we need to start to go from there. Transition to some more throwing. How did that come about? Just those are the weapons you have and you feel like you guys can do it? Yeah, it's the first time since I've been here where we, we outnumber skilled guys, outnumber our linemen. Um, so, you know, we, we have some more weapons that we feel like we can use, and, and we have some guys that we feel like are threats if we get the ball in their hands, so we're going to try to work on doing that. Brad, how's that transition been for you as a lineman doing some pass protection some more? Um, I like pass protection better because it's not necessarily always one-on-one. -on -one. Sometimes you have guard help, so it's not too bad. Getting to play Van Wert as a scrimmage. It's a foundation-type game. What are you looking forward to in that one? Um, it's kind of like the battle for the county, so <laughs> I enjoy that and enjoy going up against people that I see all the time. Adding that to the schedule, what was the last year? Was the first year you guys did that? It's been a couple years. A couple years now. What's that mean to the program and just both communities kind of coming together and, and playing there the week before opening night? I think it's really good as a true preview for the community to see, you know, what kind of football kids we've got in our county. And, and then, like Brad said, it's really good for the kids because they get a good compete against people that they see it, see at the fair and, and see, you know, uptown and stuff like that. So um, it's always been very competitive, but it's always been a very clean and well-played game by both sides, and, and we look forward to another one of those this Friday. Third straight playoff appearance last year. Crestview's becoming a team that people say they're going to be in the playoffs. What's that feel like to build that program at your alma mater? Well, it feels good that the people that have come before us have put us in that situation for people to think of us that way. Um, but we know that we still have work to do, and every year is a new year. So uh, we know that starting with Parkway next week, we've got work to do, and that we need to, to uh, play good football week in and week out, especially once we get into conference play, put ourselves in position to play again in the playoffs this year. Yeah, I saw in a picture on Twitter you have a beat Parkway, clock, or Parkway game clock, and it's counting down. Been thinking about that game for a while, haven't you? Yeah, we have. We've been counting it down since it was in 300, so we're excited. 300 days? Yeah. Wow. When do you set that clock, right? End of the regular season? Banquet time. Yep. Okay, banquet time. All right. Uh, looking ahead to Wayne Trace, week three, then the Northwest Conference obviously rolls out there. How do you like those first three weeks of non-conference, but they're high stakes because they're teams that you know? 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's rivalry games really for us, especially in Park Wayne, Wayne Trace, teams we've been playing for a long time. And then uh, Hicksville week two is definitely a program you can't sleep on. Very, very well coached team. Coach Smith does a good job up there and they have kids that play hard. So it really prepares us for conference play, I feel like, but uh, definitely games that we have to, uh, you know, take one at a time and be ready to go each week um, and, and play good football to be able to win. How do you feel about the Northwest Conference this season? Obviously a great year last year. Six teams were 500 or better out of the yeah. eight teams. You guys were in the playoffs, gave McComb such a tough game in that first round. What's the outlook this year? I think it could be just as good, if not better. Um, you know, looking at, at Delphus Jefferson, who won the league, they've got a lot of guys coming back. Um, you know, I'd like to think that we're going to be better this year within the league. Um, and then, you know, Spencerville lost a bunch of seniors, but their program's been really strong over the last few years. And then you got Grove and, and Ada and, you know, the rest of the conference. Allen East is going to be good again this year. So, you know, there's no off weeks. Um, you got to play. You got to play your best every game and, and try to stay healthy. And, and um, you know, you, you say one week at a time all the time, but it really is true in our conference. There's no breaks. How important is this last scrimmage? What, as a coaching staff, as you're looking at your players, how they're performing, how much stake do you put in how they play that Friday night? Well, they, they, you hear the people say all the time that it doesn't count, but it does matter. Uh, we still have some position battles going on, some guys that are looking at a different pecking order on the depth chart that we're trying to get figured out um, from that standpoint. It's really important. It's really critical for us to sharpen up, uh, work on some of the small things that we talked about, um, and, you know, be firing on, on all cylinders going into week one. All right, Chris, few nights getting ready for that scrimmage with Par uh, Van Wertz and then that week one showdown with rival Parkway. When we return here to Frickers, we'll talk with three more of the seniors right here on WSN. Back at Frickers, Andy Lynch joined by three more of the seniors. Luke Gerardo sitting right next to me, linebacker and running back. Chase Clark is down at the end, defensive back, wide receiver. And Nick Henry, an offensive lineman and defensive lineman in the middle. Luke, let's start with you. Going to a little bit of a passing attack as well as the rushing this year. How's that transition going for the players? It's going pretty well. Um, we've got a little more time now because we always have to make sure of the extra linemen and the blockers and the defense and the linebackers because everyone likes to blitz now. So one of us, like the linebacker, the fullback like me has to come up and try and, sit and try and get the extra man. So there's a lot more communication needed. No question about it. Good to hear things are going well. Nick, offensive lineman, how's the transition for you? I like it. Um, it's not as hard, but we still have to do our job and maintain our guy, make sure they don't get to the quarterback. Northwest Conference is kind of a running conference. There's a lot of teams that like to run the football. Um, exciting for Crestview to, to go to the air a little bit more, use that strength. Yeah, definitely. I think we can be successful this year with Drew at quarterback, and we got some talented receivers this year. So he's distributing the ball, whether it's basketball or football. He's getting yeah. it out to you guys. How about down on the end, Chase Clark, defensive back, wide receiver. Your eyes lighten up to get some more passes? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, it's nice to not be able to block, like, all the time <laughs> and get the ball a little. You don't get tired of that, do you? <laughs> not really. You know, I mean, I like blocking. It's one of my main jobs, but... It's nice to get the ball a little. There you go. Getting ready for Van Wert. What do you think your team needs to really focus on for that scrimmage? Um, communication. We need to talk more. You can't be too good at it. So, Is that a, kind of a strength for you guys, Something that, or just something you know you need to do more of? We're, wor we're working on it. We're doing pretty good at it okay. for not being at week one yet, but we can definitely get better. Nick, what did you think you guys did against Salina pretty well in that first scrimmage? Um, I think we came out pretty physical. Not, we didn't start out that fast, but we caught up with them eventually and got back to it. How, how big are those scrimmages? You're going against each other every day. I mean, what does that feel like to actually play someone else? It feels good to hit them. I mean, <laughs> it's better than hitting our own teammate every day, like two days. Luke, do you have a favorite drill that Coach Owens or Coach Lotzenheiser or one of the other guys comes up with and you say, yeah, I actually like this one. I'm excited about it for during practice. Uh, probably Oklahoma because you get the chance to go in other positions. Like I'll go D line against an offensive lineman. Playing quarterback at all? Uh, no. Probably not. Okay. Since seventh grade. <laughs> seventh grade. All right. Well, Luke is the fifth string quarterback. We hope they don't get to that. 
for the night's sake. Want to stay healthy as they get ready for Van Wert. And then Parkway in the opener. And when we return, we'll talk with three more of the seniors right here at Frickers on WSN. One more time at Frickers with the Crestview football team. We've got Braden Van Cleve next to me, the tight end defensive end. Emilio De Leon right next to him, defensive line and offensive lineman. And Peyton no, running back, defensive back down on the end. And we've got some eaters here. This is the beef for the Crestview Knights. Who's going to put down more chicken wings tonight here at Frickers between you two? Emilio. <laughs> How many, Emilio? What's your record? I don't know. Maybe 25. Come on. Throw it. He can go 20. He can go 40, I bet. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But lots of strength for this Crestview football team, Braden. Uh, we can see it in you guys. We see it in the hard work that you've put in during Salina. Is that one of your strengths coming into the season, having you know that kind of strength from guys like yourself? Yeah, I think so. But either way, we're going to work hard to get it done by fundamentals. Now, are you a blocking tight end or a receiving tight end, or is Coach Owens going to say he's both? Uh, Coach Owens like to say I'm a blocking tight end first. Okay. Do you like? Do you agree with that statement? No. <laughs> so we'll see how many catches he gets. Uh, how's the line coming together uh, during this, this, you know, preseason? Yeah, it's coming together pretty good since most of us have been playing together for a little while. Yeah. So. We're pretty strong yep. up front. We're returning lots of guys on both sides, nine guys on each side of the ball, basically. Yeah. That's got to help your pr preparation going into week one. You guys are very familiar with the offense and defense. Oh, yeah. yeah. Have you seen the areas of growth quickly here in August because of that? Uh, yeah, we've had the, a lot of younger guys step up so far and fill in positions here and there. Okay. Peyton, how's things looking for you uh, in the backfield? Not going to run quite as much this year in the Knights, but still going to have some good offensive attack from the backfield, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, we got Gerardo. He's a pretty good blocker, so hopefully make a hole and we'll try to do what we can do. What are you most looking forward to in that opening week game with Parkway? Um, just play hard and just do all we can do and hopefully win. How often over the past 300 days have you thought about Parkway in that opening game? Um, probably since the day we beat them last year, I've been thinking about it. So it's always in the back of your mind, even in, during the regular season? Yep. Amelia, senior season, you know, have you thought about what this means, your last go around in high school football? Yeah, it means a whole lot to me since I, since I won't be playing under Friday nights no more. And hopefully I'll be playing under Saturdays, but. Yeah. You know, keep working hard. And uh, Braden, um, what are you looking forward to most those first few games? And Parkway is the one you're, you're focused on, I'm sure. Yeah, Parkway is really the main focus for this year. But um, I'm just looking forward to playing with my brothers every game. How well do you know the other players on teams like Parkway or in the Northwest Conference? I mean, are you friendly with them outside the football stadium? Yeah, I mean, we see them at fairs everywhere. It's a small community, so sure. no matter where you go, you always run into them. All right, well, Crestview, all business as they get ready for Parkway week number one. And then, of course, the Northwest Conference slate kicks off week number four. We thank you for joining us here at Frickers. We're going to catch up with the WBL and Van Wert when we return right here on the warm-up on WSN.